Hi guys, welcome back to Save and Salvage. Welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is just a follow on from Saturday's video with the front end rebuild on the S4. Uh, we're just carrying things on, rebuilding that front end. We've already done the near side front suspension, that's all done. So it's just a follow on for the front end, uh, getting the bumper, wing, and hopefully getting the wheels on and getting it on the ground and hopefully driving it out. And fingers crossed, it will drive out unaided. We'll crack on, we'll get back into the front end rebuild. As always guys as well, if you do enjoy these videos, please give it a thumbs up. Any comments you do have, just drop it in the comments box below. I will try and respond to everyone's comment. And also, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. It helps massively with the channel. All right guys, let's crack on. Right, so I managed to get a lot done yesterday. Um, today is a new day. Just a quick recap on what we've done yesterday. Um, we've fitted our new condenser, because I did buy, I bought a whole rad pack which came with the condenser, but the condenser was damaged, got damage in the post, um, and they ripped in the post. The sensor got ripped off, so it was, it was no good basically. So I uh, had a deal with the seller. He refunded me the cost of a new condenser, so. Got that fitted, um, we've got a crash bar fitted with our headlight locators. It also came with horns, which was a bonus. This side as well, so we've got all that fitted. Uh, we've refitted our vac vacuum chamber thingy, majiggy, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. But refitted that, found out where that goes, um, connected our horns up, both sides. So just checked our airbag connections are on the bottom of the headlights, so Luckily I haven't lost those either. Um, got our belts fitted, auxiliary belt and our supercharger belt and our pulley, all fitted. So that's all good. Um, right, so now we're just gonna fit that headlight. I'm not gonna bother fitting this headlight yet because we need to replace the wing. So we'll be replacing the wing as well. And then hopefully test fitting the bumper. And we'll get that uh, new alloy fitted and hopefully we'll give it a quick test drive. Don't want to go too far because obviously it lost about a litre of fluid in the gearbox, so ideally I don't want to really drive it until I've done a gearbox. Or I'm going to do a full major service on this as well. I'm going to do S-Tronic um, filter and oil, engine oil, spark plugs, air filter, pollen filter, the works. So we'll crack on with getting this headlight fitted, make sure that fits all right. And then we'll crack on then with this wing.
Well, she's running. I'm just letting her get up to temperature so I can check the oil level properly. And also topping up the coolant, letting that flush around as well. Also got on charge because the battery's low, so sounds good. Engine sounds fine. Don't know why that's moving, but all looks good. All the lights work, by the way. Bumper's all on, but um, I'll let it warm up, get it up to temperature, check the oil level properly, uh, make sure the coolant's all uh, the right level, and then we'll take it outside for a first proper look. Right, so here she is outside for the first time. Well, outside properly anyway. Just driven her out. And as you can see, it's 90% back together. Front bumper's absolutely fine. I think where it was stuffed in the back of the car and they've bent it a little bit, it's, it's twisted a little bit on this bottom corner, but that's nothing. Once I put the bolts in it, that'll be absolutely fine. But no, it looks really good. Everything works. Obviously we're just missing the grills and the wiring we've got to sort out for the parking sensors, but cosmetically, we're spot on. Got the wing on, test fitted, obviously it's not painted, I've got to paint it, but that's all lines up really nice. All the gaps are good. She may have noticed I've got new wheels on the front. Um, if you remember from the previous video, one of the wheels, I think the near side front was probably slightly buckled from that impact. And also this wheel here, the tyre had holes in the sidewall, so I bought some really cheap, I think they're replicas if I'm honest, but I don't really care. Um, one way to easily tell is the profile on them, the offset's actually quite wide. But they're really cheap, they're only a couple of hundred quid, and the main reason I got them is because they come with four decent tyres, um, five mm tread, and the rears have seven mm tread. So that's the main reason I got them, and they look a lot better than the standard 18s. That you can see here look just literally night and day so i'm going to keep these alloys i reckon they just they do need a refurb i'm probably just going to get them refurbed in the silver they are now unless i decide to de-chrome the car in which i'll probably do them in like an anthracite like a black edition rotor but there she is Right, that's it for today's video guys, um, it's been a good one today, we've got a lot done, uh, got the near side front suspension done, got a lot of the front end put back together, got the bumper test fitted, um, I've only fitted it with a few bolts but we know it's, it's, it fits well, it just obviously needs the rest of the bolts putting in, um, but we will have to dismantle it to fix the aircon and there's also quite a lot of the wiring along the front, the connectors on the ends of them. Um, were damaged mostly for the parking sensors so obviously we've still got to take the bumper off to strip that and to uh, repair the wiring but as a test fit really happy everything goes on perfectly 
Um, so yeah, we've got it out for its first clean. So really happy of how the progress has gone today. Um, it's also just annoying that it's taken so long to get here, but it doesn't matter. We got, got here eventually. In the next video, we will be getting the rest of the front end done. Um, we're going to go for a full service. We're going to go for full engine oil change, um, spark plugs, air filter, pollen filter, and I will also do the S-Tronic oil and filter as well because I don't know when they were last done, so I'm just going to do a full service on the car and um, then hopefully once that's done, we can give it a road test. Um, and also I'll be going through the few modifications I've got. I've got a, a Scorpion exhaust, um, so we'll fit that as well. The other two wheels, the new wheels, will fit those as well. Um, and then once that's done, we'll start stripping the front bumper back off to repair and replace all the wiring. And then it will just be a general health check, um, go over it, the whole car, make sure everything's good and then hopefully it'll be done. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, any comments uh, you have, please do comment below. Um, I will try and respond to everyone's comments. And if you did like this video, please do hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Right, that's it guys. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.